What happened in January 22 in the Halifax real estate market? Like, it was crazy. But you're here because you're either moving out of province, you just want to stay up to date with the stats, you're either thinking of buying. So we've got all of the information on this crazy Halifax market and uh, it's coming right up now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you're watching. So we've kind of covered all the options that we've got there. And welcome to the stats review for January 2022. I'm Richard Payne from Halifax Homes and Lifestyles at EXP Realty right here in Halifax. And we want to give you all the information on what can only frankly be described as a little bit of a craziness in January 22. Like you thought 2021 was tough? Well, 2022 has just gone bananas in terms of like kind of every metric I could possibly imagine. So this is what we're here to do to give you the information. Now, we would love you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get notified of everything that's coming up. Because trust me, in 2022, there's one thing I know, and that's you need to stay informed on all of the best strategies, all of the best tactics to make sure you can, from a buyer point of view, get your offer to win. From a seller point of view, do the best marketing because this is gonna be one of those times that you're like gonna get out of the market a little bit ahead of time because it's going to give you so much more equity. So those are the two reasons you need to stay in touch. Let's get into the stats in January and see what happened. Now, sit down, take a bit of a deep breath and prepare yourself for this because this is the first thing we wanna look at and this is what was the average selling price in January, 2022. That number was $614,450. Let it soak in a little bit. Let it fester, let it sit there. $615,000, I'm gonna round it up because it just makes things so much easier. But that is a pretty big number. Now, yes, it's the average of the whole of HRM. And there are definitely some factors that went into, I think, what happened. Because when I looked at the stats for this, like we've, we only sold 200 homes and we'll come back to that one in a second. But 18 homes were sold for over a million dollars. So when you kind of look at that, that's more or less 10% of the homes that were over a million dollars and some of them a lot over a million dollars. So I'm hoping that what that's done is just lift the whole average price up. So everybody do this and keep your fingers crossed that that's just one of those little anomalies that can take place when all of a sudden a lot of people either list their homes for over a million dollars or certainly like you know people start buying them for over a million dollars and that's absolutely what happened now we'll delve into a little bit more detail because there's a few specifics in there as well in terms of how much over the asking price these houses actually sold for but we want to kind of look at the rest of the numbers as well so let's look at the important factor number two 200 homes were sold inside the whole of hrm now 309 homes were sold in January last year. That puts us down 35% in terms of how many homes we actually sold. 2021, like, you know, there was actually 379 homes active at that time as well. So more active homes gets you more sales. This time we're only sitting at 200 homes for sale. We're only sitting at 146 active homes. So the volume of what we sold was down 35%, but key thing here is the actual active homes for sale are down 61 percent from last year like that's huge to be nearly two-thirds lower in terms of active homes now these are only homes we're not looking at cottage properties we're not looking at condos we're not looking at income properties we're just focused on single family homes and again only inside of hrm so we're not looking into truro into bridgewater Wolfville, Kentville, Annapolis Valley, uh, Windsor, we're not spreading that far out of what we kind of term our nucleus as to where most people want to be, which is inside of the HRM. So those are two of the factors. Now, when we go back and look at the price at uh, 615,000, that was last year $462,000. So we're up 35% on last year price. We are also up 17% on December as well. So that's like you look at the jumps in terms of the prices, those are pretty big numbers to actually jump by just one month. So I really 
keep my fingers crossed that the number was down to those million dollar listings that did actually go ahead and sell tripped us up over a pretty big number because like you kind of look at like 615,000 that's a good solid number but when you look at the average being that and we'll delve into some areas in a second it kind of is a little bit like that's a big chunky number for HRM area so keep your fingers crossed that it's those 18 homes over a million that pulled us up quite substantially and you know we'll see what happens in February because you're subscribed to the channel and you hit the bell don't forget it so therefore you'll find out when we do the next one and we'll do it nice and quick as well because you've got to stay in touch with the numbers now days on market was 21 this time last year it was 42 so we've halved that number so no houses aren't staying on the market as long um 0.7 months of inventory i mean we've got 200 sold we've only got 146 active so you can kind of figure out there's basically a listing shortage so from a selling point of view that's what's important to you is there is a listing shortage there's just not a lot of house, homes homes houses homes same thing up for sale right now so from a being able to cash out probably i'd say this month into like march February, March are going to be the best times to list your house because you're going to end up with the top amount of money that you could possibly get. We know, like I was part of just the other day, uh, part of 18 offers on a $600,000 house, funnily enough, in one of the areas we're going to talk about, which was Tantalan, you know, and that's, we were, we were quite a way over asking price uh, and it was 18 and we didn't get it. So it went even higher than we were prepared to go. I've also been part of like 32 offers on a lower Sackville house. I've been part of a 44 offers on another place in uh, middle Sackville as well. So you can kind of see all of this stuff is just building to like such a demand for housing here in Halifax. And from a listing point of view, we need that supply. The builders are not going to do it. They haven't got enough inventory themselves. Halifax planning is taking longer to actually issue the permits. We know that if you said today to a builder, I want that house, nine months to actually get it built. You're talking September or October before you actually get the keys. So even the builders can't influence the number of homes we've got for sale that quickly. It's just going to come down to we need more inventory, more houses to actually come up for sale. So from a listing point of view, my advice February and March, maybe April, are gonna be your best months to actually get out potentially just a little bit ahead of that market. You know, don't, don't whatever you do, don't try and time the absolute peak of the market because that's when all of a sudden the market changes pretty quick because interest rate hikes are coming and therefore purchasing power of buyers is gonna come down. So that's the advice for the sellers, for the buyers, like don't sit on the fence, whatever you do, because like I said, your purchasing power is going to start coming down. So if ever there's a time when you're like, okay, we need to get a house in the next two to three months, pretty much now is about the right time to be thinking that because once those interest rates go up, then the percentages come up, your overall mortgage number that you can pay has to stay the same. So the borrowing amount comes down. That's the way that works. Now let's start looking at, uh, just check the numbers here. Couple of things, oh, let's do sales to new listing ratio. 83% first time in about four, maybe five months that we've actually gone down to below 100%. So we had 200 sales, we had 240 new listings in the month, which is down a lot compared to we usually are. Like, you know, I think, um, yeah, in January last year, we actually listed about 410 homes then. So we we're down a lot like on the new listings, but it's the first time that we've actually dropped below. And that's purely because we only have 146 homes for sale. Like at the end of December, I think there was like 211 homes for sale. So again, not that many homes to buy, therefore not as many transactions are actually gonna take place. And that's why we're at 83% sale to listing price. Now let's get into some areas. So number one area was um, again, East Hants, Colchester County. So that's the area like just a little bit where the airport is, a little bit higher than the airport, which is all of um, Enfield, Elmsdale, uh, Lance area. Like the average price point there was $419,000. It was 23 home sale, 24 active. That gives you one month of inventory up there. Uh, 54 days on market because there was quite a few new builds that were kind of coming in there as well. So like takes a little bit longer in that area for a lot of the listings that are coming on. Uh, area number two was actually Sackville. 
um, four hundred fifty and a half thousand dollars there. Like four hundred, let's call it four fifty one. Like that's for Lower Sackville. That's pretty pricey. Um, that was actually the 32, 32, 33 offers. That one, that was one of those. Actually, and so was the forty four offers. Actually, both of those were Sackville. Fifteen um, percent over asking price. Nine days on market. Uh, two homes for sale. 22 homes sold gives you a 0.1 month and one of those went conditional so one home for sale unless new ones have come on recently so pretty slim pickings if you're kind of looking in that lower sacral market hence less demand people pay more because they want it that's why we're sitting at 450 and a half thousand dollars up there and then third place was actually uh timberley tantal and upper tantal in st margaret's bay area now 20 days on uh, 20 sales 20 sales there 19 on market that's one month 25 days and this is the key thing here $841,000 there so guess where some of those million dollar properties that sold were in St Margaret's Bay Tantallon area now of the 18 homes that we know were over a million dollars there were five that were actually in that Tantallon and St Margaret's Bay area and of those five, two of them were over $300,000 over the asking price. Let that settle in a little bit um, because that's clearly one of the things that I am really hoping pulled that average price up because not only were the properties over a million dollars, they were like over $300,000 over the million dollar or million and a half, whatever the asking price was. So they were substantially over asking price. So when you kind of combine all of that, that I'm hoping, again, do this again, that is what I am thinking the average price was actually going up to $615,000. So those are the stats, that's everything that went on in January. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you kind of scoot around and find some of the other videos. Sellers, we need to talk like really soon. Buyers, don't slow down. Don't take your foot off that gas pedal because your purchasing power is coming down. Sellers, that's why we need to talk and kind of get your house listed and out of the market just that little bit early. Keep your fingers crossed because we need to talk exit plans, like what are the options as well because there's not a lot of houses to buy. How are we gonna get you moved? We can discuss that. So give us a shout, give us a call. All of the details are all over the place and uh, we will see you on the next video.